It's reading time. Guri and Gura. One day, two field mice, Guri and Gura, set off for the woods carrying a big basket. My name is Guri. And my name is Gura. And what do you think we like to do best? Cook and eat. Eat and cook. Yay, Guri and Gura, that's us. I'm going to boil up a basket full of acorns and syrup, says Guri. I'm going to boil up a basket full of chestnuts, mash them, and make chestnut cream, says Gura. Gathering nuts from the woods, they walk down the path until lo and behold, in the middle of the path, they see a gigantic egg. Wow, what a big egg! This will make a side inside up egg as big as the moon, says Guri. This will make a souffle thicker and softer than my mattress, says Gura. Better yet, I think it will make a wonderful sponge cake. A sponge cake so big we can eat it from dawn to dusk and still have some left over, says Guri. Whoopee, a great idea, says Gura. Now, how in the world can these two little mice take this big egg home? This egg is much too big for our basket, says Guri. Okay, let's carry it then, says Gura. But how? It's so smooth, there's no place to hold it, it keeps slipping. Okay, let's roll it home. But if we hit a rock, the egg will crack. Crossing their arms, the two filled mice think for a long time. Then, Guri claps his hands and says, I know! If we can take the egg home, then let's cook it right here. We can bake a sponge cake here in the woods. Great idea, Guri, says Gura, clapping his hands with joy. Guri and Gura quickly run home and gather all the things they need. They take out their biggest pan, lots of flour, butter, milk, sugar, a mixing bowl, two bitters, two aprons, some matches, and two big knapsacks. But the pan is so big, it won't fit in their knapsacks. Oh well, I can drag the pan, says Guri. And I can roll the lid, says Gura. Come on, let's go. Guri and Gura put on their aprons. Okay, here we go. I'll crack open the egg. Guri clenches his fist and hits the egg as hard as he can. Oh, ow, oh, ah! Oh. Guri cries out in pain, jumping up and down, holding his hand. This egg is as hard as a rock. That's it. We'll use a rock to crack the egg open says Gura. Gura's idea works. When the giant egg is hit with a rock, it cracks open. Guri pours the egg into the mixing bowl, adds some sugar, and mixes it all up with a bitter. Then, he adds the milk and flour. While Guri is mixing the batter, Gura piles up some stones to make a fireplace and puts lots and lots of firewood under the pan. Now, let's melt some butter in the pan and pour the batter in. Then place the lid on and over the fire it goes. My name is Guri and my name is Gura. And what do you think we like to do best? Cook and eat! Eat and cook! Yay! Singing this song, they sit on a log and wait for their giant cake to bake. All the animals in the woods soon gather round, wiggling their noses. Are you baking a sponge cake? They ask. We can smell it a mile off. That's right! We're the sponge cake bakers! Guri and Gura, that's us! We're not stingy or mean! Guri and Gura, that's us! So, you'll all get a bite, just you wait and see! Ok, 
Okay, come and get it. It's ready. Gura slowly lifts the lid of the pan. Inside is a smooth, fluffy, yellow sponge cake smiling at them. Oh, that looks so good, says Guri. It looks so yummy, shout the animals with joy. All the animals agree it's the yummiest sponge cake they have ever tasted. After they have eaten their fill, all that remains is the empty cooking pan and a gigantic eggshell. And what do you think Guri and Gura do with the eggshell? Okay, see you next time. Keep on reading.